Today we're looking at stepper motors. Stepper motors are very important because they're used everywhere from 3D printers and CNC machines through to traditional printers, photocopiers. You can even see them in clocks because they're super precise. They can operate very efficiently and they've got a lot of torque and a lot of strength and depending on the motor and the driver can be quite fast but you can very precisely move them and you can rely on the movement to be exactly what you requested and the way they work is they will move in steps based on some very precise pulses and the stepper that most people start with is the 28BYJ48 and from what I understand Originally, this stepper was used in air conditioning units and ventilation systems, and it's become so ubiquitous that they're available reasonably priced and used in lots of different situations. And they usually come with a ULN 2003 stepper motor driver, which means that they're easy to use. Now, these operate on 5 volt, they will accept 12 volts and the more juice you give it the more capability it will have but they can be run off the arduino just don't expect too much from it better for you to use external power if you have it i'm going to show two really easy examples first is using the default stepper library that comes with arduino and there's some debate about what these steppers have as a full revolution but 4096 seems to work for me i'm using the pins three to six and you'll notice when we set up the stepper we don't use one two three four we do one three two and four and that's because of the way the pulses are required to work and then i do a full revolution by counting from zero to the full revolution with a five millisecond delay after each step, and then I wait a second. So this will move one step. Uh, you can actually configure these to do micro stepping, but we do a full step every five milliseconds, then we wait a second before doing it again. A better library is this one called Axel Stepper, and as the name suggests, you can do acceleration and deceleration, so it has a bit more smooth movement. And another thing that makes the movement smoother is it can do this half step mode. So again, we're doing 4096 as a full revolution. That is probably incorrect because my math is <laughs> off, but it seems to work. We set it up almost exactly the same, except this time it's got this half step and then we set the maximum speed with the acceleration we choose that we're going to go full speed and then we tell it to move to a full revolution so what this means is you tell it where you want to move to and then it will navigate to that position and then we say if it's got nowhere left to go then reverse the movement and then this dot run tells it to start moving